In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a profitable planner business without designing planners at all. Okay, this is a PLR edition and we are going to talk about it. So if you know already, I am a fan of the Secret Weapon PLR. Uh, the Secret Weapon PLR is a premier membership where you can get all of the PLR, which PLR stands for Private Labor Rights. You get access to a slew of them. Okay. And but today I'm going to talk about planners if you're interested in starting and started a planner business okay so if you have not already go ahead and sign up for the secret weapon plr only 27 dollars a month and you get access to not only planners you get access to a lot of other products such as email content posts roadmaps journals with plr what you can do is you can download the product you make, I highly suggest that you make changes to it. Do not sell it as is. Add your branding on it, add your name, your website, you know, add the good stuff in there for your audience. All right. And when you do that, you can download it and you can sell it on many different platforms and i'll do another video on the different platforms which you can sell your products at your plr products at um, but you can download them put them on your website or um, in this case you can start a whole etsy shop around just planners okay so if you're not familiar with etsy etsy is an amazing website as well that you can use this already the audience is already there because people are already buying on on Etsy, you just got to learn how to move from the crowd. You got to learn how to really niche so that you can get buyers from Etsy. Okay. I am in my beginning stages of starting my own Etsy shop. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, I will link that at a later time because I'm still building it up. Um, but Etsy again is a just one place that you can use to sell your digital products. I personally am not just using Etsy um, because I believe in having my products in different places, but Etsy is one of those um, places. So here in the Secret Weapon PLR, um, they have um, votes. So they also, they have a planner vote, okay? Which you, again, you can resell these planners. Uh, right here in the planner vote, you have a, a good amount of planners that you can start with, okay? And remember, with the planners, um, you are you can sell these planners as digital or you can sell these print planners as print, all right? You can really, really take advantage of using these products in multiple different ways. So let me show you how. So let's first get started with the, let's say this business planner here. Okay. So I'm going to click on that. Let me log into my account. Okay. So I'm going to access the template. Most of the time, the, all of these planners are in Canva. Okay. So you're going to use and design this planner. You know, I always highly suggest that you make changes, okay? So definitely don't call it a business planner. Um, if you're in business or if you sell, you know, if you're going to sell business planners, you can take this business planner and create it in multiple different ways. This business planner, which they have many different covers here. Let's see, that's all of the covers. Okay, so that you have many different covers. What I would do is I would use this in multiple ways. So maybe you can have a business planner for coaches, maybe a business planner for consultants, a business planner for social media or virtual assistants, a business plan. So you can, you know, take some time and use this and create it in multiple different industries. Okay. And you, I mean, out of all this, out of this planner right here, you can probably create it for so many different industries and have it uploaded um, to Etsy in no time. You can probably leave with about 10 different planners. All right. So set set the, the time to, first of all, sit down to see what industries, if you're going to create a planner Etsy shop, okay, if you're going to play, create a planner Etsy shop, then you want to make sure that you, of course, have your Etsy store set up, all of that good stuff, but write down all of the different industries that you can come up with, okay? 
if if there is if you can't think of any use sources like chat gpt to ask you know the different industries in which you can make a business plan or for okay let's do that let's see if we can do that and let's see what we come up with that way you'll know um let me log into my okay so let's ask G chat gpt let's see I just asked that I would like to create a business planner. Um, can you tell me the different um, industries I can create a business planner for? So here we go. We got small business. You got te te technology startup. You got e-commerce, retail. Um, you have health and fitness, um, a consultant, creative, healthcare. You see all of these diff different options, okay? So get the help from chat gpt and they will tell you so you will figure out of course you want to have a catchy name for your planners all right you can um use chat gpt for that but choose your your um cover okay so you got your cover here covers here so you have many different options and another thing you can do as well is maybe let's say we are creating a for consultant okay you can have consultant here. This one use consultant. So you can have many different covers, but this inside looks the same with the same uh, company, not the same company, but with the same um, area expertise. So you can lead with a lot of planners. Okay. You, if you want to use all of these covers, you can, or just pick three, say, okay, I'm going I'm to do three different consultant planners so that your, your audience will have three different options to choose from. Okay. So you can do that. All right. You got your table of contents here, add your website here. You got your welcome in your introduction. You have your, which is here. There's another welcome. You got about me executive summary so it's going to take some time because you got to make sure that these words will coincide with you know who you are making this business planner for all right so you got your executive summary you got a grand vision but you can use the same thing for any business you know any business needs an elevator pitch needs a grand vision you know um needs the pillars uh, Every business needs that. It, it doesn't matter. Okay. So all of the inside can look the same, no matter what type of planner you are, you know, planning. Okay. Team members, you got team members, you have a list of suppliers, you have operation and logistics. So remember, they are filling this part out. Okay. They are filling this part. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So remember, they're filling this part out. All right. They're doing that part. And you got your launch timeline. You got your um, considerations. You got your services. All right. They can fill out their services. Services price list. There's another one for services offers. So that's services. So there's many different options for services. Price list if they have a particular price list project timeline, project detail, um, client resources, services, uh, workflow and systems. So you got a process, you got a roadmap, communication. Like this will be great. You got testimonials. Um, this will be great in so many different ways. Things are coming to my mind. Um, of course, you can have it as a business planner, uh, but there are some things in here that you can um, use for onboarding clients as well. Let's see, goals and dreams one year from now. So this is an intensive social media goals, monthly goals. 
Oh, it, I love this. It's over a hundred pages. Okay. <laughs> so that's why I keep scrolling. Uh, financial goals. You don't have to use everything in here, but you can, you know, pick and choose how to what to use if you decide that you don't want to use something just delete the page all right if you want to bring the page back undo it here at the top okay so you can really change this up you can change how well you want something or maybe you want that page to go up further from there okay you can do this again you can um that's finishing notes tools and resources faq so this is something that your audience can really create for their business um and this will be a great way they, they can sell it you know of course they can sell it to other people maybe this is something this will be something they can get to know um, this is a nice planner where people can get to know that particular business okay um so you can there's some there's many different ways you can do this as well um maybe if you want to provide um, done for you services you can use these templates and fill this out for your clientele and let them know you know of course the benefits of having this type of planner for their business um so that they can you know help them to attract more clients that way their clients can get to know who you know who they are as a business you know so there's several different ways that you can use these planner templates uh, but primarily you can you can have a slew of a planner business so the thing is you want to think outside the box um you really want to be creative the one thing i love about the secret weapon plr is that they create products that are low competition uh, but they are you they're in they're in demand okay so they're in demand um the women that run the secret web and plr do a lot of intensive research especially on etsy to see what's selling all right what's selling what's low competition what's high competition there may be some digital products out there that are in high competition or planners that are in high competition that is is no need to put it in here we uh, the goal for the secret weapon PLR is to really stand out in the PLR streets so that you can make sure that you, you know, find value in this membership. Okay. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe um, to my YouTube channel. Also, I want you to make sure that you um, wa welcome you, those that are new. If you are OG, say that you are OG, that you've been here before. Um, again, if you don't know me, I'm Shari Deloach. I'm a PLR content strategist, and I love to empower individuals to save time and money using PLR. It's no need to sit and write those books and create those digital products write those ebooks when you can go ahead and use plr to get it done okay so that's what planners um use the planner boat again let me go over the different planners that are here you have a diy cross stitch planner you have the essential solopreneur planner i'm going to click on that one and access that one too and see what that looks like I love this design, by the way. Um, this design is beautiful. If you look here, you can actually print your design, print your designs on notebooks. You, I mean, this design right here is beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, so this is a, a solopreneur planner here. Um, brand, brand vision, setting goals, uh, four-week planner, week one, today's plan. This will be great. Um, again, this this design is beautiful okay if you want i think you should you might be able to change it you might be able to you can't really change the, the you can't change the background this looks like this is a a nice uh, uh what do you call it like a background so if you have different other backgrounds too you can change this up um i like this i really really like this i that this is the part i will probably leave like it is and uh, what i would do is i will i will use this planner to create to use different industries this is what i would do okay and of course i would change the name put your name there um, but i really really love this desire okay so there's the four week plan there week two so it's it's really it's a plan it's a planner 
you can make this this goes up to 52 pages i would probably make this more the planner part i would probably do 90 days instead of instead of four instead of four weeks i would do 90 days at least um so to give you more pages you got your financial tracker here as well um you got your client contact i love this this is great for solopreneurs all right so again if you want to do the print option um make sure that i will you know make a copy of this and put this all the way at the back keep the same theme for the front cover Did I mess something up? Okay. Let's, we gotta put this all the way at the bottom. Now, if there's a faster way to do this, let me know. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you can drag it. No. Looks like you have to. I'm gonna put this all the way at the back because you're gonna need to have a back cover. Okay, that's a bad. So you get, I would probably remove this here, remove all this stuff here. Uh, maybe I would keep that. Um, hold on, let me put that, that back. So I would leave that here. Maybe put my name there. Um, maybe repeat that, put that up here. And then maybe you, you know, you got to have some words. Trash that. So you got to have some words. Let me see. All right. So put your, you know, your description can be here. Um, if you want to put your picture, you can. I wouldn't, but I'll put your description back here of the planner. But you want to, you got to have a back cover. Okay. And it's already, uh, look like it's already formatted for, what size is this? eight by five by 11. Okay. So eight by five by 11 is already sized for you and everything. Um, you can use, I have, I've never used Canva to print, um, but you can use places like the book patch to print. Um, you can use Lulu. Um, there's another one, um, Renetta, Renetta. I know it's, is here let me see here you go okay that's it but vervante vervante <laughs> okay they have uh printing services as well i got a couple of planners print from there they have amazing quality service okay they, they print all books workbooks um they print notebooks um, they have warehouse and fulfillment, so they do a full service there. So get to know this website here. I highly recommend them because they are amazing. Their products are amazing. I love it. Okay. So that's how you will um, create your planner business. Okay. Take these planners in the vault, in the SQL Weapon PLR vault, recreate them. Okay. Self care planner, digital planner, side hustle planner recovery um, planner, project project plan, homeschool plan. I, I will have a whole, you know, I, I may do that on Etsy. Have me a whole planner business on Etsy, okay? You can use Etsy to do that and think outside the box, okay? Even if it's not your niche, okay? Even if it's not your niche, you can pitch services. Like if you like to design, I'm not really a designer i this is why i love templates i'm a template girl plr if you got it done i can add my add my oomph to it okay i love to add my oomph to it <laughs> i add my oomph to yours that's how i am but if you're a designer this is what you love to do maybe you can pitch you know this social media planner to social media um not influencer but social media um strategists that you know they they might 
you can create them for their business and then they can sell them to their clients. It's just so much that you can do. I'm going to really break down and do another video for you guys. Let me know of the different ways that you can make money, not just with planners, but in general with PLR. Okay. It, it, it's, it's always where you have your people that want you to do it for them. They want you to design it for them. You have your people that want to learn how to do it. You have your people that will buy your planner as is, and they will just use it, you know? So it's, it's many different things that you can do. And I suggest that you definitely, definitely, definitely think outside the box with these, uh, with these planners. Okay. Now your girl is over here on, um, instagram so make sure that you you guys come on over here and come chat with me over here on instagram especially if you are you know you have questions come hang out with me there i'm in my stories every single day and get into where i really really want to show up on instagram more and provide value okay i, I hope that you enjoyed this video let me know what questions you have below and i look forward to seeing what you guys create